Uh, good morning, Mr. Savage. Oh, hey, sir. How are you? Uh, not bad, but I noticed you're a little bit late this morning. It's uh, it's 8.40. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, what time did you leave home? Uh, 8 o'clock, I think. So, is that your usual sort of trip? How, how long does it usually take you to get to work? Uh, yeah, 40 minutes. Yeah. So, maybe if you left at like 22 8, what time would you get here then for work? Uh, they'd get me here at 8.20. Fantastic. So you, you've obviously got a, a good sense of time and duration. So I suggest you use it and get yourself here on time next time. Yeah, I'll do my best. Hey, that took no time at all. As a matter of fact, ladies and gents, this particular video is on duration or the length of time, particularly 12 and 24 hour time. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the second example we're looking at is where we're going to convert from 12 hour time to 24 hour time. The question we're looking at is if we've got 1.28 p.m., what would that be in 24 hour time? To do that, really quite simply, we take our 12 hour time, we add 12 hours to that, and our final answer is 24 hour time. Now there is a little hiccup. If it goes over that number 24, it just starts again on the other side. Now, if we want to convert the other way, so from 24 hour time back to 12 hour time, the process is very much the same, except this time we just minus the 12 hours. So if we need to convert from 1543 in 24 hour time to 12 hour time, all we have to do is take our 1543 and minus the 12 hours off the 24 hour time to give us our answer of 343 with PM included because it's 12 hour time. Almost the exact opposite to the other conversions we're doing. The third example, ladies and gents, we're gonna have a look at is if we're up the beach camping, maybe at North Shore, something like that, and there was a king tide coming in, something like that, and you wanted to know when that happened. What you did know is that it was six hours and nine minutes after the current low tide. And we know the current low tide is at 23, 24 hours on Tuesday. I wanna know what time does that next high tide occur? Okay, so Mr. Savage, given that scenario, uh, up the beach, 2324 hours, we need to get out by the time high tide comes. We know high tide's coming in six hours and nine minutes. How can I work out what time that actually is? Mm. Well, I'll take the time of our current low tide, 2324, and add on the time that we know is going to be between that low tide and the next high tide, the six hours and nine minutes. So first of all, I'd add up my minutes. 24 plus nine gives me 33 minutes. Luckily, in this case, it hasn't exceeded 60, so I don't need to account for an additional hour. Now, adding up the hours, 23 and six, gives me 29. Now, we know we don't go above 24, even when we're talking about 24 hour time. So I must have gone into the next day. So I'm gonna take off a full 24 hours, knowing still that my value is in the next day. Taking 24 hours of the 29.33 gives me a time of 5.33. This will be an AM, so it'll remain as 5.33, but it's on the next day. So the next high tide will be at 5.33 AM on the Wednesday. Sure, so as long as we're off the beach well and truly by 5.33 a.m. on Wednesday, we're safe. Definitely. Well, probably. Hope you learned something about time, duration, 12 and 24 hours. <laughs>